Hey guys, Kev here, and uh, this could be an absolute shit show. So, um, Kun Wu asked me to take a look at this. One of their customers reached out to them because he broke an Omega spring. I think he was trying to take the knife apart and put it back together. We all know Axis style locks suck. I haven't taken one apart in a long time, but they need me to... Uh, put this back together with the spring in it for this customer and well let's give it a shot so i help them from time to time with warranty stuff if you're wondering why the hell would you have kev do this but there you go so let's just be gentle here we got a lot of black shit on the tang there so i think unfortunately i'm gonna have to take this thing all the way apart Ooh. I was under the impression he already took it apart. I don't know. Just happened to use um, Loctite, maybe. But we'll see what's up. He did ask me not to use um, red Loctite so he could take it apart again, which is interesting. Because he said something about maintenance, but I don't know. Maybe you can do maintenance without taking the Omega Springs out, but kind of... Wouldn't that have been done already? I don't know. It's a weird thing. Anyway, I'm going to take this off. Just see what's going on here. Try to keep that in there. Okay, just remember, this could suck. So I might delete it if I fuck everything up. I'm just kidding. You know me. I won't do that. Or I just won't tell you. Do I have to undo? Hold on. Normally, I would just take this off, right? And then clean everything and try to slide that back in. But I can't do that because the spring is broken in here. I think I actually have to take this screw out. Maybe not. Yeah, you have to get that apart somehow, right? One of these has to come out, I guess. Try to do it all from one side. There's the broken spring. Look at that. So I wonder, can I squeeze in the good one somehow? I don't see a way of doing that. So let's just try this. There we go. Look at that. It's one hell of a screw. I've never taken one of these apart, so this is all a learning process. Okay, now will you come off? Why do you exist if, right? Makes no, there we go. Okay, so this is the spring that broke. Luckily, maybe, just maybe, since we came at it from that side, we can just put it all back together. Let's just see. So what we want to do is hook this right around here and then oops, get it to pop into there at the same time. Like that. But actually stay there, <laughs> if you know what I mean. 
Why don't you want to stay there? Just trying to see if I can get I'll try the other one. Oh. They're opposites. So that was the right one, I hope. Hold on, let's just see. This hooks like that. Oh, it does it actually hook oops, sorry. Maybe I was doing the backwards one, so it actually hooks on like this. No, that wouldn't make sense, right? Of course, that stays. <laughs> but I think I had the right one. It hooks around here and then into there. Just stay in there, please. So what I have to do is get it to do, oof. get it to do that and then somehow pop this back on, right? Isn't that essentially what I need to do? So let's see if I can. Might be good to have the pivot and keep things stable. Let me line this up just so it's all like proper ish oh i need the blade you dumbass okay, let me push this out again not too worried about how i mean it's all greasy and shit they use grease Ugh. all right let me just attempt Need to get it out with something. Seriously? There, got that one. There we go. Okay. Clean that. Clean this shit. Alright. Other than that, it's just pretty much clean. It's good to go. So. Put this back in. No, right. Never mind. Hold on a second, Kev. Which side? There's a D shape, right? But where's the D? Where the D at? Where the D? Where the D? Where the D at? I also see how dirty that shit is right there. So I got. So I can oil these up. Just get everything ready, basically. See if I can get those in the blade. They do seat in, which is nice. So they hopefully will stay in place once I oil them up like this. in there you fuck okay winging it guys just bear with me did that other spring fall out no see it's like under there under where so i'm wondering is there a way for me to do it like i took care of this side then take apart the other side and kind of like try to i don't know i don't know just slide through Yes, okay. So let's just attempt something real quick. Let's put this in. Just see, just bear with me here. This 
spring does go. Yes, it does. Okay. So I can take this now. Goes in. Oh, the D shape is in there. Nice. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I'm learning. I'm learning with you. Or you know more than I do already. Okay, that's in. We got our... What is this? Calm down, folks. This goes in here. Pull this down. What? This needs to get pulled down when I drop this in. Yes, there we go. This goes through, come on. This goes in here, it's your stop pin. The other bearing goes here, okay. We're getting somewhere. All right, so we got all that in. And we drop this in. Where's the issue here? Is it the crossbar lock? Do I need to... I think I might need to pull this down. Oh, it's not straight? It is down. It needs to go up, maybe. So... That's in. That's... Sort of in. Okay, everything's kind of lining up except for this crossbar lock. Where is it? The stop pin. Let me take that out. Why isn't that? weird it's almost like it doesn't fit into the frame there or is it only fit in at the top or does it have to be deep come on what's the puzzle piece here fucker is it d-shaped it's not I don't know why there's an issue here. Does it not seat into this? Does it just go that far? And the... No, because look at this side. It clearly goes in, right? Oh. Is it being a bitch? What is it that I'm missing here? When you put this on, it goes. Right? Goes on to this end piece. Like that. So, it has to go on there, right? I'm going to put this stop pin in so I just don't bump anything. But Don't know why it doesn't pop into place.
got it. Come on, baby. Oh, fuck. Get it in part of the way. <laughs> it's like it just doesn't want to go all the way in. I don't know why. Okay, get the f off of here. What am I missing? take this off. No, I can't. You can see that that piece under there is... So it has to fit... Wait. I'm an idiot. Fuck. I think... Hold on. I think I might have figured it out, but maybe not. Come on. Come off. Yeah, you see, it's not like that on the other side. I think I know what's wrong. Now, of course, I can't fix it. How did I even get it on? Oh, closed, right. Right? Nope, apparently not. There we go. Okay. So, what I think happens is you put this on. No, you put this on. Man, it's a crazy construction. So, wait. What I think happens is the scale goes over top and locks in like this. That's how I think it works. If that makes sense. So, what I gotta do is put this in. See if I'm right. If I get this back together, it's a fucking miracle. Just saying. I'm a goddamn genius if I get this together. I'm just kidding. Totally kidding. What am I missing at this juncture? Like, why am I not able to... There we go. Okay. Pivot. Okay, now, put this on. Here's my theory that hopefully is right, because I don't want to fucking do this all night. Is that the right way, or does it go the other way? That's right. Okay. Stop pin. Just bear with me here. Check this out. This is what I think. Then this, you pop over like that. And then down. This comes out, actually, it'll go through. This goes up and on. This goes here. Ha <laughs> ha, motherfuckers. Got him. Okay, open that up. Get that in. Okay, that's all seated in. Hopefully I didn't fuck up this part because I'm a little worried I stripped some shit when I was going crazy there. But hopefully we're good. Um, now the spring. Okay, so now this fucker needs to get in there. Am I missing any fucking parts that are necessary as hell? No. So not a knife you want to take apart again, you know what I mean? Not this spring, right? No, not this one. This one. God damn. Okay. Take this guy. Wait, was it the right one? I 
think I had the right spring. God damn it, Kev. What? No, how could that be? Yes, okay, because this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I need to get the scale near here so that I can kind of slide it on as needed. Holy shit. Eh. I don't think it's in there. Is it? Maybe it is. Hard to tell because it doesn't look like the. I can't see the. You would be able to see the spring, I think, because like on this side you can see. Right, well, I did it once. I can do it again if I fuck. You can see it there, but I don't think it's in the spring hole because I can't see the knob. On this side, I can clearly see it. Oh, it's in there. Oh shit, it's in there. Fuck me, I think I did it. Let's just see if that holds up. Let's tighten this down. You know what I just noticed? This is the exact same system. It kind of tells me that maybe Kun Wu makes the, um, the uh, James brand knives, because it looks identical. Hold on, let me just tighten that down. So, yeah, it sits out. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Hold on. Just try. So, centered. Now, it never had a detent. And that's where it's hard for me to tell. But we can see both sides move up and down easily. Sucks it in pretty well. I just can't see the nubbin on this side. And that's the only thing that is irking me a little bit. But we just checked, and it was in there, so. Feels just like this knife feels normally, so. Wish I could see the springs. There's the spring hooked on this side. There's the spring hooked on that side. You just can't see the number, and that's just such a pain in the ass. Should it matter? No. Can you kind of see the spring coiled up there? Hold on. I don't know if that's the spring. I think it is. Can I see it on the other side then? Yeah. There's the nub. 
Yep, I can see it. Ever so slightly, I can see it. it makes me want to go in there and kind of push it a little bit so it doesn't pop out. But you hear that? Nothing's loose. Still makes me want to go in and check it. All right, just to be safe, because I got to send this back to a customer. It's not, you know, it's kind of important. Uh, but I had to take this off too. Fuck. Well, at this point, I gotta glue that in too. If I, we don't want that to come loose. That was a little bit of a pain in the ass, wasn't it? So clearly it's there. Don't jump. Okay. And that one was good, right? So. Really not that hard if you think about it. Which is weird because I thought these were really hard to fuck with. I don't want to mess with the other side just to find out. I guess that side would be harder because you have to take the knife all the way apart to get there. I guess you could push the pivot out. But I'm going to compare it to this James brand in a second. Yeah, there's the spring hanging in. So let me get the glue out. Just a touch for this guy. Oops. Check the... Um, tightness on this before I glue it. So, make sure everything else is good. 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 I just tightened it down. It's centered, which is good. No play. And wow. It's almost too loose. See, can't really crank it either. Yeah, there's no cranking it. Yeah, it's tight too. That's crazy action on this thing. It's the only thing I'd say is the liner looks a little bit higher up on that side than it does on this side. Eh, not really. You see there's some dirt and shit there. Let me see if I can clean that up for him too. Try to get in there on a Q-tip. Fucking Christ. Yeah, there's a black shit in here. Definitely want this to be nicer than it came to me. Clean all this. Feels solid as a 
freaking rock too. So let's go ahead and glue that pivot. Alcohol. <clears throat> Almost done. It's one thing about Kunwu I don't love is they have very shallow screws or uh, tooling. So drive this in. And if he ever needs to pull that out, it should be easy. We are centered, no play, and it drops. So not much more you're going to ask where they're centered. Good action. So let me just compare it to that James brand while I have the James brand here. Put everything else away real quick. Uh, put all those tools in here, extra clip. So yeah, cool thing is they give you an extra uh, Omega spring for each side. Here's the broken one. There's no reason for the guy to keep this, so I'll throw that away. Make sure that goes back in. Put this in here. Okay. Here is that James brand, and I mean, these are the only ones I've seen with this system, right? So it's a little bit interesting that they, I mean, it's the same screw, <laughs> literally the same screw, and then it's just a different bar. This has a little bit of jumping, this doesn't, um, so that's interesting to me. They're basically the same shape, too. Yep, just different textures. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I don't know. I don't know if that means anything, but it's kind of interesting. But here it is. So I'll be getting this back to the customer they have. I'll get his address and I'll send it back. Looks good otherwise. I don't know how much it's been used or anything. The edge looks, oh yeah, it's pristine. I mean, it's freaking sharp as hell. They send these sharp as hell. Um, I don't see any other issues or anything I, I would address personally. Uh, everything, I got the lanyard pin back in. Thank God it stayed in there. Uh, feels good in the hand. I mean... Yeah, these are good. Just not my style in terms of the uh, action, that's all. Just a little too light on the detent, personally, but that's just how they are. Can't wait for their new one, the Pulsar, that looks really cool. But there it is. That is the X-Tau disassembly, reassembly, and a spring swap. How about that? I'm pretty impressed with myself. <laughs> kind of kidding, but at the same time, I'm not. So let me put this back in the old uh, case. Everything else feel good on it? Let me just... This is moving, but that's normal, right? Yep. That looks good. That looks good. Everything looks solid to me. So there you go. Let me know if you guys have any questions or anything on this. I love you guys. Um, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.